Nance and Panzer in the center, center circle. And Nevada ball. Well, not the prettiest start we've ever seen, but here we go, for real. Here we go. Deontay Burton, yeah, the most explosive offensive player for the Wolfpack. Everybody in the Mountain West Conference had figured that out, and they've done everything they can, as you see right there. It's Gilmore not letting number 24 get the ball. Oh, that's the game plan. You have to know where those go-tos are, and that's been a problem for Nevada. When you don't have depth, it's very easy to shut down one, two players. Coleman's jumper just got the front of the rim. Washington controls. Gilmore. Open look for Adams. He drills the three. Josh Adams is a freshman that has really stepped up. They lost a senior guard in Luke Martinez because of an incident and violation of team rules. He played the first 12 games, was a starter, and they had to fill some shoes, and Adams has been one of those. Story misfires. Another three-point bomb by Gilmore. This one won't go down. Wolfpack ball. It's going to be so important for Nevada to make sure they box out, find a body because of a size differential. Wyoming, a much bigger team on the interior. Cole Huff, Marquise Coleman, a pair of freshmen in the lineup for the Wolfpack. Story, the senior, kicks out. Here's Huff, the freshman. Another freshman who's gotten some extended playing time because they've missed a couple of players. Jeffrey Evans Jr. has been out because of a hand injury. Others have had to step in. Turnover. You don't see that very often from Wyoming. They no. only average about 11, 11 turns per game. They are tops in the Mountain West in assist to turnover. Krista, they've had several games this year turnovers in single digits. That's rare. It Burton finds is. a little room, short. Coleman, they're gonna be an offensive foul, no basket. Zero going and taking it right to zero, but the zero that wins it is Leonard Washington for Wyoming. Got position, stands his ground, and Marquise Coleman, you gotta like the fact though, this young player's coming in now as a starter. He's trying to make something happen. Adams. Grabo finds a little space. That's all it takes. This is a guy who will be the point guard next year, but for now they're using him more at the shooting guard spot. Using the screens. Both teams matching up man-to-man -man so far in this one. Panzer. Too strong. Got a hand on it and gets it back for Nevada. Find Story. Coleman, drive, whistle and a blocking foul. The Wyoming fans not happy. They thought Leonard Washington got shoved with the forearm, no whistle. And instead some contact inside holding his shoulder is Josh Adams. I guess it's going to be a physical one, Rich. They're going to let him play. And well, that was just a very physical exchange that right in front of us. Was. There was a lot of bumping going on that one. Yeah, a lot going on there. Nathan Sobey comes in. Josh Adams, a freshman, will sit down. And that left arm held gingerly by his side. He's not moving it much. And the trainer's going to come over and take a look. And another freshman, Marquise Coleman. He was the D3 California Player of the Year, received the John Wooden Award as a high school player. And really a prestigious honor for the kid out of Los Angeles. And it's a good recruit for David Carter, who's out of Los Angeles as well, Crenshaw High School. Coach Carter, very talented point guard in his own right in high school as well as at St. Mary's College up in Moroggan, inducted into St. Mary's College. Hall of Fame just a couple years back. Tough shot by Story, not a good decision. 
I was just thinking the same thing for Nevada. They would have to find some patience with their offense. Too quick on the shot. No one really there to get the offensive rebound. you got to make better decisions. Gilmore, guarded by Burton, gets the screen. And you can say tip by Deontay Burton. Wyoming ball. Burton thought it was going the other way. He was already jogging to the other end. A very good acting job by Burton. But Vern Harris, one of our officials tonight, uh, has worked the NCAA tournament several years, worked the tournament final game in the final four. You're not going to fool Vern. No, There's you're not. Vern right there, good look. Handing the ball to Riley Grabo. Keeping them on their toes. First round game of the Mountain West Tournament Championship. Presented by Reese's. 8-9 matchup. Winner gets the top seed, New Mexico Lobos. Gilmore, no. Coleman. Panzer. Stripped away. Washington got a hand on it. Panzer commits the foul. Frustration by Kevin Panzer. He's got tough matchup inside going up against Leonard Washington. The 6'9 junior, a little frustration after he made the move, lost the ball, and it was a good hustle play there by Riley Grabo, number two for Wyoming. Cowboys defeated Nevada 59-48 in Reno on January the 12th and got him again in Laramie 68-48. That was in mid-February. Grabo for three. And Rich, that play worked because Nevada is switching on screens and there was a miscommunication. Nobody was out on Grabo and he made him pay. Burton. He can really get it going, Deontay Burton. He's 11th all time in scoring at Nevada. Over 1,400 career points. He averages 16 a game. He can score. Story steps in front of Washington's pass and steals it. Coleman, Burton for three. Burton has started every single game of his career, and he and Story give out about 52% of the scoring for this Nevada team. Misfire by Grabo, one and out. Burris up ahead. Story on the break. Larry Shiat, Wyoming, called timeout. It's a nine. Sometimes you just hit that first shot, but now a couple of sequences in a row for Nevada, that's a plus. Everybody trying to fire from long range. Washington going to work inside, blocked by Burris. And then Washington's gonna pick up a foul. Quadruple team down low. Do you think Leonard Washington draws some contact? He definitely. A couple of quick turnovers from Wyoming. You don't see that very often, and it's a plus for Nevada because they've been able to convert and get some points. But the big key right now, five fast break points, none for Wyoming. Nevada's got the tempo up, and that's exactly what the Cowboys don't want to see. Winner of this plays tomorrow night against the New Mexico Lobos, the Mountain West regular season champions. Here's the junior, Deontay Burton. Story. Misfires on the three. Grabo with the rebound. That was a nice screen set by Jordan Burris, but just not able to get the shot to go. Adams back in. Good sign for Wyoming. A little dinged up left shoulder earlier. He was really holding the arm awkwardly. I was concerned he may have dislocated it, but good sign that he's back. Gilmore. Gets a little space, open shot. Darius Gilmore has been shooting the ball more and more. He handles the point, doesn't always look for a shot, but because of a couple of players out, they've been, he's even been looking for the three much more regularly.
Burton trying to get it down to Elliott, intercepted by Adams. Cowboys on the move. Burton with the block of Gilmore's shot. Burris, floater, air ball. We'll go the other way. Devontae Elliott having a conversation with the official. He did not agree, but from our angle, they got it right. Well, this is an all-star officiating crew, Randy McCall, Vern Harris, and David Hall. Gilmore to walk it up. Huff with an easy interception. Burris open for the three, straight on, won't go down. Elliott to the line for a plus one. Excellent position by Devontae Elliott and a good read. It was a nice screen up high. They had the open look from the perimeter. Could not get the shot, so Devontae Elliott, the junior, steps up, gets the and one, and that's the kind of hustle plays. Those are the things that were not there in the last few losses for the Wolfpack in the season. Those hustle plays, offensive rebounds, getting to the free throw line, the little things that make a difference. Elliott misfires on the free throw attempt. Nevada lost seven straight, 11 of their last 13. Krista, you played in college basketball. You understand how long that season can be, and it really feels long when the losses pile up. Uh, it definitely does. They graduated two double-double guys last year, Dario Hunt and, and uh, Alec Chez. And when, when you lose key players, key scorers, it's tough to, to fill those shoes. Cook trying to go to work, can't get it done. Story on the move for a three. Nevada just feeling it right now. The momentum is definitely on their side. And if you're Wyoming, they're a team that likes to control pace and tempo, and they have to try to get it under control. Sobey's fouled by Burris. And a timeout on the floor with 11 Fans getting ready for what they need in this month of March. A taste of some March Madness in the Mountain West Tournament Championships presented by Reese's here at the Thomason Mack Center. Rich Cellini, Chris Blunk, and eight fast break points for the Wolfpack to none for the Cowboys. 17-10 Nevada lead. You're right, Rich. That is the difference in this game. It's not the way Wyoming wants to play. They want to slow things down, and if you're Nevada, you get out, you run. They're so athletic. They don't have the bigs inside, so you got to get out and try to get set up before Wyoming beats you down the court. Leonard Washington threads the needle to Cook. Derek Cook did not play basketball in high school. He played football, and then he grew six inches after high school and thought, maybe basketball is the sport for me. Burton to Elliott, who gets fouled. And he'll get hacked on that and go to the line. Derek Cook, Jr., who we are just talking about, commits the infraction. But he didn't get cheated on the foul. No, he did not. He got every bit of that, and they love his athleticism. And if you're Nevada, you like the confidence by Devontae Elliott. He's been very aggressive down low, and he's gotten himself to the free throw line here in this one. How about this pass from the big guy? Perfect feed. Got the D turned around completely. And if you're facing the backside of a, a of a player that you're supposed to be defending, you are beaten, and it is too late. You gotta love when the bigs are the assist players at times, like that. Great hands from Leonard Washington. Adams drive it in, and he'll get fouled. Monte Elliott got him on the arm. It was an aggressive move from Josh Adams at 6'2". <laughs> Skying for the dunk on that one, I thought. Josh Adams thinks he's Blake Griffin. Yeah, I guess he thought, well, there's going to be contact. I might as well, might as well make something of it. A nice drive by the freshman. There's Larry Shiat, third year. Head coach at Wyoming, second stint, been very successful. Everywhere he's been, Billy Donovan's right-hand man winning national championships down at the University of Florida and a very 
engaging and entertaining gentleman. No, he definitely is. And this team with a 67 RPI coming in, got a win against number 19 at the time, Colorado. And he's really doing nice things with this group. Went to the CBI last, last season. And it was interesting at their practice, which as we saw their first drill, and this says a lot about Wyoming, was a charge drill. Take the charge. It's all about D with Wyoming. Last touch by Burton, turnover. Panzer just didn't know where to go with it. Adams to inbound. There's David Carter, 14 years with the program, fourth season as the head coach. A lot of switching by Nevada. If you're Wyoming, you have to read that. There will be some options, and there's one there. Blocking foul on Huff as Leonard Washington got the train moving to the basket, and when Leonard gets it moving, look out. He's so strong. Sets the screen. You got a pick. You got a curl. Look at the jerseys from Nevada. Multiple players coming over, just trying to get in a bit of Leonard Washington space. And you know what Cole Huff's thinking right there? Because he's a freshman. I've never seen anything that big move that fast from my high school career. <laughs> That's right. And it's going to take all you have to knock down a player like Leonard Washington. You're most of the time not going to win that one. Grabo with the block. Turnover. Nevada ball. Offensively, Nevada likes to set a lot of back screens, and that can be tricky. If you're Wyoming, you really have to be talking. Burton, fade away, well guarded by Grabo, air ball. Sobe. Really overplay there by Story. He is all over Josh Adams. Five second call. David Carter on the bench lobbying. Randy McCall agrees. Turnover. That's just a hustle play from Malik Story, the senior. Going out, making something happen. You know, the shots may not always be falling, but defense can always be there and the energy and the hustle. And we're seeing it right here from Nevada. Burton. Offensive foul on Burris. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And that's exactly right, making better decisions after talking to the coaching staff. They said they want their team to be more aggressive on the shots, but they have to make smart decisions on the shot selection. A couple of the options the last couple of times down for the Wolfpack have not been the right options. Larry Nance Jr. to inbound. Darius Gilmore, the senior from Baltimore, Maryland. Washington, able to draw a whistle down on the block. Elliott. I like the move by Leonard Washington. It's a quick cut without the basketball. He just makes the direct cut to the block. And look, three blue jerseys waiting on him. Part of the all defensive team this year, Washington is, as well as the third team all Mountain West. 64% on the season from the line. Very solid all-around player. 13 points a night, nearly nine rebounds, a couple blocks a game, and always working. And you had mentioned that he went out with that ankle injury and then got hampered with the back. Things changed in the wrong direction for the Cowboys. Well, they definitely did. Just to give you an example, the last game in their loss against Colorado State, he only had three points. Your leading scorer averages 13 a game. He has been struggling, but looking pretty good. At least he's looking physical and active here in this one. First couple points for Washington. Story, too strong. Nance to the hands of Gilmore. She'll be back to Nance. Adams. Gilmore thought about it. 
Now gonna drive in and a pretty little teardrop in the paint. Wasn't sure if that was gonna be the right decision at first as Darius Gilmore decided to take it into the big trees down low, but it paid off for him. He got himself a little closer and a much higher percentage shot. Alley fall in for the first time. And Leonard Washington pleading his case, saying, what more do you want me to do? I'm in the right spot. It comes with the territory when you come in the paint. You have to expect a little physical contact. Uh, there definitely has been. We'll see if we can see it. This is the play where Gilmore decided to take it in. He had a bit of an open look outside, and he can shoot it out behind the arc, but decided to take it in instead. Ali Fall from Chess, Senegal, and a very intriguing young man. Oh, he really is. Uh, he, he transferred out of Barstow Community College, but played high school in Japan. And as you mentioned, he's from Senegal, but he speaks five languages. Really interesting. Travel by Adams, who went up and got the rebound. I think Larry Shiat thinking, how did that not go our way? And this crowd, Wyoming always brings a very big contingent of fans. Cowboys have always traveled well. And when you see their school colors, you know who they are. You definitely do. The yellow sticks out. They were all liking the floor here as well. Burton for three. Yes, this has a little bit of a, a cowboyish feel with it the does. Brown and gold in there, but our floor is sponsored by our tournament title sponsor, Reese's. Looks nice. It really does, and that was a nice shot from Deontay Burton. They call him Mr. Clutch. He has really hit some big shots, and just when the crowd was trying to get, get into it for Wyoming, he shut him down. Gilmore over Burton. Here's one for you. You've got one, I've got another. That's where the switch, it can be effective, but when the miscue's there, you cannot leave the guy with the basketball, and that's exactly what happened for Nevada. As Cole Burton, Huff too and strong. Burton. Gilmore, on the break. Pump and a foul as Sobe gets hammered. Seven oh eight West Network at the Thomas and Mack Center. 22-20 Nevada, Wyoming, Crystal without an offensive rebound. Yeah, they've yet to get an offensive rebound. They give three to Nevada, and they have six turnovers in this one. And if, for Nevada and the Wolfpack, they are converting those into points. They've been out on the break, eight fast break points to none for Wyoming. So it's just some little areas. And the reason it's such a big surprise, six turnovers here in the first half for Wyoming. They only average 11 per game. So will be off the mark on the first free throw attempt. A man from Australia in his junior season. One for two. They like Nathan Sobey because he gives him size at the guard spot. The guards for Wyoming do not have a lot of size. He extends it out. He's a much longer body. Story, and it's going to be kicked off the feet of Larry Nance Jr. Nevada ball, 16 on the shot clock. Burton. Gets the corner and some space. Won't get the roll. Fall takes it away from Nance, but Burton flies in for the tip. Offensive rebound after offensive rebound, and we were just talking about how Wyoming had yet to get an O board, and that's what can happen if you do. Grabo, pass inside off the glass, Cook, shot won't go. We'll pack on the break, Coleman. Story down to Panzer for the flush. It's gonna be a technical foul for hanging on the rim. This is what 
Malik Story wanted on the possession before down the down the court. He couldn't get it to Panzer, but this time he gets it to him, and Panzer, a little too much emotion. You cannot do a pull-up on the rim. So the best free throw shooter, Darius Gilmore, will go to the stripe. He shoots at 79% from the line. And it jinxed him. Panzer picked up his second personal with the technical. They've been trying to get Panzer involved, and it's just been frustration play after frustration play. And then he finally gets a positive, and it turns into this. So with the free throws now, Wyoming will also get the possession. So just when things were turning around for David Carter's Nevada Wolfpack, the momentum shifting a bit back to the Cowboys. And this is a key possession right here, I feel, for Wyoming. They need to do something out of this one. Grabo. Nance, too strong. Fall. Had to go through his hands, but Huff there to pick it up. Coleman. Good D from Ali Fall. He's really the one that caused problems as Nance knew he had to go ahead and pull up. And Fall just loses the handle. Turnover. So making something happen on the defensive end and could not finish there on the offensive end. But at the presence of him at 6'9", he forced the outside shot. Nobody willing to take it in right at him. Nance left alone for three. And I mean all alone. Again, Nevada's offense man to man, but they are switching and some miscommunications at time have left some openings for Wyoming. They, they just hadn't been able to hit those shots. Nance gets that one. Story's three is good. Story with a little Confident grin there. He is feeling it, and you love to see the senior having a good game. Story has 10. Burton has eight for the Wolfpack. Story has started every single game of his career as well. Again, transferred from IU. Nance able to get it over the hand of Fall. Larry Nance was just shifting his way. There was a gap inside. He just kept scooting into the gap, and his teammate found him. Story again. Huff. Back up top to Coleman. Coleman trying to go through everybody. Nance finally comes out of the pack with it. Wyoming just happy to let some of the clock wind down, get the place set. Cowboys can tie it with the two. Cook too strong. Story seemingly everywhere. Malik Story taking the most improved award last year from his team. Burton, too long. Fall to Coleman, back up top. Burton and a fresh 35. Just too many chances, and for Wyoming, the same thing happened in their loss against Colorado State. As they gave up 13 offensive rebounds to Colorado State and gave up 20 points. Burton, no, again. Nance controls. The reason Wyoming's been able to stay in this one, though, is that Nevada has not been able to convert all of those offensive boards. And Wyoming, very lucky that that's the case. 
Sobey's three is good. He was way outside on that one. Leads this team in scoring behind the arc. He shoots at 40%. He hit six threes at Air Force, which tied a Mountain West single game record. 9-3 Cowboy run. And the Polk fans are on their feet. Fall. Good move inside by Fall. Trading back and forth now with the lead in this ball game. First round game of the Mountain West Conference Championships presented by Reese's. 8-9 matchup, Wyoming and Nevada. Nance. Grabo short and stepped out of bounds. 122 to go in the first half. Back inside the Thomas and Mack, approaching the final minute in the first half. Burton, that is a tough shot. He and Gilmore going at one another in the first 20. They list Burton at 6-1, but he is strong. He's not afraid to take it in and be physical. He averages 16 points per game. They need more of that. Nance with the basket. He had a one-on-one -on -one against Kevin Panzer, who has two personals, and he said, I'm going to take it at him, and Panzer really couldn't do anything. Coleman down. Panzer back to Coleman for the layup. Cowboys can hold for the final shot. We weren't quite certain what we were going to get. You figure the 8-9 seed, it will be close, but that's not always the case. Well, both teams want to be here, and they do. Coleman got the ball and was able to draw a foul. So Gilmore fouls him, 17 seconds. They'll go to the line for a one and one. Nevada calls a timeout. Just too much, the guard pressure by Nevada, and they've been working the point guards all game long. And that's a key area that others have had to step up. They lost Luke Martinez, again, the senior guard. He was a scorer, he could handle the ball, and they've had to make changes. Back inside the Thomas and Mack, Mountain West Championships presented by Reese's. Coleman at the line. We go back to the last possession for Wyoming. If you're Larry Shiat, shot clock is off, holding the ball for the last shot. Can we turn it over? Right. Up at the guard spot, the double teams, they've really caused problems to a team that does not turn it over very often. But again, some changes with the guard role this season have caused some problems at times. And right now they have the freshman Josh Adams running the point here, number 14 in white. Down to six, step back, Adams short. And it'll... no shot on that one, final. Voiced by opportunities for Nevada as they've taken 31 shots compared to just 23 for the Cowboys. They need to get more opportunities. Turnovers, seven turns for Wyoming. Again, a team that only averages 11. The big key on that, the 